When the concept of digital twinning emerged in the early 2000s, NASA was one of the first to explore the possibilities. However, some argue that the first digital twin was decades earlier. Where they start? I don't know what it was. Okay. Oh, Houston, we've had a problem. In April 1970, the Apollo 13 mission almost ended in tragedy. Two days into NASA's third lunar mission, an oxygen tank on Apollo 13 exploded, jeopardizing the lives of the astronauts on board. What did you do? Nothing to stir the tank. Though the crew never made it to the moon, their lives were spared thanks to NASA's control team, who used what many consider the first application of digital twin technology. In a 2021 presentation entitled Digital Twins and Living Models at NASA, senior technologist B. Nit Allen posits that the multiple simulators employed to evaluate the spacecraft's failure extended the physical model to include digital components. In response to Apollo 13's oxygen tank explosion and subsequent damage to the main engine, NASA employed multiple simulators to evaluate the failure and extended a physical model of the vehicle to include digital components. However, Michael Greaves, who's credited with coining the term digital twin in the early 2000s, says NASA's methods in 1970 differ significantly from the digital twin technology as it's known today. While the first technical use of the digital twin is debated, the mission's legacy in advancing real-time simulation and problem-solving is undisputed. As Greaves says, the success of Apollo 13 had to do with the intelligence, coolness, and bravery of the astronauts, and little, if anything, to do with digital.